Hi singles, my name is Kenya and I'm here today to prayerfully encourage some single parents today. A little bit about me, I'm 40 years old and I've been a single parent for 20 years. Um, I am currently at every stage of parenting. I have a 20 year old daughter that does not live at home. I also have a soon to be teenage son and a toddler daughter that live at home. Um, I share that information just so you would know that um, I do understand what you may be going through or what you may have already gone through. Um, I'm going to give you five things to help encourage you today. My first one is I want to encourage you to stop thinking of yourself as a single parent. When I looked up the word single, it did say to not be married. That is true in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm, God is our mate. And in Isaiah 54, 5, it says, for your maker is your husband. The Lord Almighty is his name. So you're not single. God is your mate. And as it says in Hebrews 13, 6, God is your helper. So he is there to help you through this um, parenting process. We cannot do this alone. Um, they used to say it takes a village to raise a child. And I still believe that this it's a huge responsibility raising children. And we can't do it alone. Um, we should surround ourselves with people that love us enough and love our children enough to to be there for us, to encourage us, to help us when they can, to people that will hold you accountable to your parenting. Um, women, I encourage you, if you are raising a son, to get him a male mentor. Um, contrary to what the world wants you to believe, we as women can't, can't raise boys to be men. We don't know how to be a man, so we can't show him how to be a man. Um, the same thing goes for men. If there are any men out there raising girls, um, I encourage that you get her a female mentor. Um, you could not possibly understand what it takes to be a woman, um, what we go through as women from a little girl to womanhood. Um, so I encourage you to get them same-sex mentors, someone that can guide them through this process because it does take a village. Um, my second one is I encourage you to trust God's wisdom. Um, sometimes we get overwhelmed and we may not know um, what to do or how to do it or how to go about doing it. Um, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. You, We have to pray to God for guidance. Pray to him for direction. Um, he will show us the way. Um, when we pray, we have to to listen and wait on the Holy Ghost to give us direction, but you have to be obedient. When he gives you direction, you have to be willing to be obedient and do um, what he is telling you to do. But in order to do that, you have to trust in your heart in God's wisdom and know that he knows what is best. My third thing is I want to encourage you to train your children. They will either be trained by the world or by the word. Um, Proverbs 22.6 it says, Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart. Parents, we have to make ourselves available. We have to, to make ourselves available. We need to know what our children are doing and who they are hanging around. And we have to be mindful of what we allow to penetrate their minds and spirits. Um, we have to be careful of what seeds um, we allow to be planted um, or that we plant. Um, sometimes we may do things not even thinking of. Um, some people may say, oh, it's not that serious. It's just a water gun. But today it's a water gun. In two years, it's a BB gun, and in another year, it's a real gun. But that's the seed you planted. 
Um, also, we allow our children to play games such as Grand Theft Auto. Yes, it's a game, but it's a game that's um, influencing them. Um, they're getting something out of playing that game. Um, the, it's a, an adrenaline rush. One day, the adrenaline rush from that game may not be enough, and they want to see what it's like to steal a real car. And that's another seed that you have allowed to be planted. Um, so just be mindful of the seeds that you plant. Society will continue to water them. So parents, let's not plant seeds that we don't want to grow. My fourth point is I want to encourage you to let go of any guilt that you may be harboring. Um, sometimes um, some of us have had children at a young age. I had my daughter when I was 20. And of course then I didn't know how to be a parent. In 1 Samuel 1 and 3 it says, um, talks about how he appointed his sons to be judges, but they turned out to be corrupt. Um, even though we may not have done everything right and we have made many mistakes, we've dropped the ball here, we've dropped the ball there, once they reach a certain age, we are no longer responsible for them or what they do. Um, some of us have grown children that are not doing what we wish they would be doing, um, but we can't hold ourselves accountable or harbor guilt over what they choose to do. Um, we will always be their parents, but we are no longer parenting them. Um, we are their mentors. We can advise them, but um, that only works if they choose um, to be mentored by you or choose to um, receive your advice. So the guilt that you are holding um, just let it go. Give it to God and um, allow him to free you from that guilt. My last point is I want to encourage you to parents. Take care of you. Um, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, I know it, it takes a lot. It's, it's a lot on a day-to-day -day basis to take care of children. Um, by yourself but when you start to feel overwhelmed just read Isaiah 40 31 and it says but those who trust in the Lord for your help will find their strength renewed they will rise on a wing like eagles they will run and not get weary they will walk and not grow weak so um, we have to we have to take care of ourselves um, we have to read our word and stay prayed up, take care of ourselves spiritually. We have to eat right and exercise and take care of ourselves physically. And sometimes we just may need a break so that our, our mental state can stay, stay where it needs to be. Um, in order to take care of our children, parents, we have to take care of ourselves. So just remember... Um, you cannot pour from an empty cup. I want to say I hope that I have encouraged someone today and I will see you guys next time.